What's going on, motherfuckers? Throwing together a weekly recap video. Going over this week's price action and expectations for next week. I'm at a complete loss for words. We're, we're in the middle of a reverse market crash. The market's melting up. Everything. Um, indices are at all-time highs, almost all of them. Blue chips are at all-time highs, almost all of them. The only thing we're looking for still is the breakout on IWM. Russell 2000. And with that will come the, the meme stocks breaking out and squeezing uh, into their bull cycles. And the remainder of small caps that haven't started moving yet will be ripping to the upside as well. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's really nothing to say. We're, the market's melting up. So we'll just kick it off with Dow Jones. Um, new all-time highs all this week. Climbing up. Uh, closed the week on an absolute fucking boomstick. Didn't make it all the way to 39,100, but it's on its way. Um, just up, uptrending, all-time highs every single day. Um, looks great. Nothing really to say here. Looking for more upside to the resistance level at 39,100. More than likely, we'll be seeing that next week. Um, Nasdaq new all-time highs today. Uh, reclaimed the level here, 17,600. Close the week at all-time highs, and we now have two more GANs levels overhead. It updated now, so we have resistance at 18,300 and 1,900. So those are the next two levels we're going to be looking for on NASDAQ. Um, looking for more all-time highs here next week. So that looks good. SPY, S&P 500, new all-time highs this week as well. Um, I said 500 was on the table this week. We didn't quite get it. But we did bump our head at the 496 GANs level here, uh, the high of day today, closing the week at all-time highs once again. Um, looking for continued upside here as well on SPY, uh, reverse market crash, melt up. Everything is climbing, reverse market crash, the, the market's bullish. Uh, so this looks good. Looking for more upside next week on a micro level. Um, I see this playing out one of two ways on Monday. So... In either perspective, we're looking for a pullback on Monday. Um, scenario one would, would be we pull back to 491, bounce off of the resistance level here. So this was the resistance, came down, poked our head through, fell back into it again, reclaimed and broke out of it. We have to retest this 491. Um, more than likely, this will be happening Monday pre-market into, into open. Uh, that's been, you know, that's been every day pretty much for SPY lately is pull back at open and then just green intraday the rest of the day. So that is scenario one. And then from there, we're looking for 500 plus. Um, scenario two would be that we come down to 491 at open on Monday and we fail the retest. Uh, in that case, we'd be coming down to 485, 486. And still in that case, we're looking for 500 plus after that. Uh, we would find a bounce here and then continue climbing to 500, 500 plus. Um, in any case, new all-time highs on the way next week for SPY. Um, reverse market crash. Foolish. Melt up. There's nothing else to say. Everything is climbing. Uh, everything looks great. So that's really it for SPY. Um, now IWM, or sorry, we'll start with Russell 1000. Uh, new all-time highs today. Right up to the resistance level at 273. GANs level. New all-time highs this week and close the week at all-time highs. Next level is 281. This is Russell 1000. So I just went over uh, just a really quick recap. Dow Jones is at all-time highs, closed at new all-time highs today. NASDAQ is at all-time highs, closed at new all-time highs today. SPY is at new all-time highs, closed at new all-time highs today. Um, Russell 1000 is at all-time highs, closed at new all-time highs today. And now Russell 2000. So I was expecting to break out of the parallel channel on FOMC. Uh, it didn't end up happening. We just got a sell off and then Thursday, Friday was just green. Uh, regardless, IWM is about to break out. So I mentioned multiple times that we are in this parallel channel here and have been for two years, roughly 160 to 199, just playing ping pong up and down here. Coming off of the spring, again, all of these peaks here are lower. Lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And then coming off the spring, which was the lowest low in the channel, and we finally found a higher high. And now pulling back for the retracement and just consolidating here sideways. The next move here is up. And when we do break 199, which is on the way, 
um, the price action here is going to get vertical, very similar to what, what we saw back here in 2021. So we're looking for this, just verticality. Uh, not so much a squeeze, but, you know, it's an index. There's pullbacks along the way, but, you know, just verticality climbing to all-time highs. Once we break 199, that's what we're seeing over here uh, on uh, Russell 2000 IWM. And at the same time, when we do see that breakout, that will be at the exact same time that the meme stocks break out as well, AMC and GameStop specifically. Um, small caps that aren't moving yet will break out as well and more than likely squeeze um, aside from AMC and GameStop. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. Everything is bullish. There's there's really nothing else to say. Again, Dow Jones all-time highs, NASDAQ all-time highs, SPY all-time highs, Russell 1000 all-time highs. Russell 2000 is about to break out of its macro pattern that it's been trading in for two years. And when it does, all-time highs on the way, uh, looking for verticality once we break out here. And that will be simultaneous with macro breaks on the meme stocks. Um, now, getting into the micro on this, the side-by-side, -side, uh, this is what I've been comparing, the 2021, um, I don't have it marked off on the macro, but what we're looking at here is this move at, the, at 199, at the macro resistance level, we're looking at this move right here compared to this move right here, right at the same level, macro resistance. So side-by-side, -side, again, on the left is 2021, and on the right is 2024. The jet test up to the top where you poke your head through macro resistance at 199. Over here, same story, 2024. Poke our head through resistance, 199. Come down, find a bounce up to the middle of the range, roughly 50% retrace. Same on this side. And then the spring breaks below support. Reclaim support back up to the middle of the range. And now we pulled back on FOMC along with the, the rest of the market. Everything essentially pulled back on FOMC. Uh, and then Thursday, Friday was just green. Um, now, the way this ends, and there's not much detail here because this is a two-hour chart. I can't go any further back on smaller time frames to look at this. But you come back up to the middle of the range, and it's essentially just a flag, a descending pattern here, which is exactly what we have here. Um, we're looking for a break of 199 again. So we're looking for this uptrend to continue here, break 199. When we do break it, verticality, straight line, um, all-time highs. That's what we're looking for here. Again, this is 2021 macro break, meme stock squeezes versus 2024, which is incoming. Uh, macro break, meme stock squeezes. Meme stop, meme stock squeezes. Um, <clears throat> now, just looking at this, just very simply, what we have here is called an uptrend. So we're forming higher highs and higher lows here, uh, holding the trend. We broke above resistance, macro resistance at 199, poked our head through, came back in, back to the trend. When we did come back to the trend here, we gapped down below it, and then we just fought here to reclaim it. Three bottoms, one, two, three. We got the reclaim back up to 199 again, rejected again, down to the trend, back up to 199 again down to the trend, and then on FOMC, we hit 199 again, macro resistance, and then we knifed back below the channel again. And I had this, um, I drew this a few days ago, I think on FOMC I drew this actually, where we would essentially be looking for the same exact price action that we saw right here, and then when we did reclaim it, that would be the breakout. So that's what we're looking for, where we have these three bottoms here. I'm looking for potentially one more bottom here, a higher low, uh, and then a reclaim of the channel, or the uptrend, sorry, and then a breakout of macro resistance. And then once again, when we do break macro resistance, uh, things are going to pick up here. It's going to get a little bit more volatile to the upside and more vertical. Uh, but this looks great. So that's IWM. Now let's get into AMC. Um, same shit as always. So downtrending to your all-time low landmark. Downtrending to your all-time low landmark. Squeeze in 2021. And we're right at the beginning of 2024 now looking for a macro break and a squeeze. Again, we're looking for a straight line um, directly to the top. And we're not, we're not looking for an intraday uptrend, uh, something slow. We're looking for a gap up, a macro break, and then a straight line to the upside. So again, this is the macro break into the downtrend right here in the blue box that you see here. Sideways consolidation and then dropping into the downtrend. And then you have your four touches. The one, two, three, three is the fake out. And then on the fourth is the breakout and squeeze over here. Same thing. One, two, three is the fake out. And now we are on four. Uh, all the crosses of the 200 EMA are identical on either side. And the trend line itself, we are poking through it. I did mention that this trend line, depending on how you have it drawn, as this is a very macro trend line, uh, 
just like back here, very macro trend line. Depending on how you, how you have this trend line drawn, it's plus or minus a couple days. Um, so I'll show you I'll show you what I mean by that now. Uh, regardless, we're at the end of the macro is the point that I'm getting at. So now looking at this uh, on a weekly time frame, and this is again AMC's macro. We're looking at a descending wedge. That's essentially what AMC's macro is. It was previously leading up to 2021, just a descending wedge. You break below it right at the end, you reclaim it, and then the breakout is the straight line squeeze that we're looking for. And then again, dropping down into the downtrend, descending wedge all the way through. Rejection, down, break below it right here, just like you see right here. Reclaim it, and on the weekly, we're right on the resistance line now. Very flat week. I think this was the most flat week that we've seen uh, ever on AMC throughout the entirety of the chart you cannot find a week that was more flat than this week's price action on AMC, which is interesting. Uh, again, with that, the volume profile of this, so um, decreasing volume throughout this until you get to the end, into the flat portion, it starts to pick up. It's kind of hard to see, but very low volume here. And then right at the end here, it picks up into the squeeze is all-time high volume. You get your bull cycle on AMC, which is very rapid. And then right back into the bear cycle of AMC, descending volume all the way through. Uh, again, until the end of the macro where volume is picking up. And now it's descending volume uh, throughout the accumulation here, which is exactly what you want to see. So we have descending volume. Um, and it looks great. So that's it. The bear cycle of AMC is very long, dragged out, uh, just completely exhausting retail. It was previously the last macro on AMC leading up to 2021 squeeze was eight years. And the current one, we're only three years in. We're already at the end of it. Uh, and again, that's because of the volume. The more volume that's being injected into the stock, the faster it's going to move throughout its macro. Uh, and you, it's very visible down here. You can see the macro, uh, the volume, and you can see the macro break where the volume profile um, really changes behavior. So that's that. Um, now looking at this wedge by itself, just zoomed in on the weekly now, and this is what I was talking about where we're sitting right on the wedge right now. So here is your first touch point, your second touch point, your third touch point, and now we are on our fourth sitting on the wedge. This is the flattest week, the smallest range of price action AMC has seen since IPO this week. And then the bottom support line, first touch, second touch, third broke below, reclaimed it, tested, and just completely flatlined here on very high volume compared to the rest of the downtrend and descending volume on top of that, which is exactly what you want to see throughout an accumulation, which that's what this is. Uh, and again, we're sitting right on macro resistance, about to break out of it as IWM is about to break its macro resistance. And while the rest of the market is completely melting up to the upside. So this looks fantastic. Um, now the downtrend, now this thing has gone from stupid to retarded the downtrend on AMC on the daily. And th essentially, this is the macro resistance I was just showing you um, on the weekly chart. This is just on the daily now. It's essentially the same resistance line. I had this drawn in December, December 13th, 2023. Same touch points here. So you're starting from this red candle right over this top wick uh, where this would have been the rejection, the breakout, the retest on earnings failed. Uh, funny enough, this is where Babs and I were streaming uh, on earnings. Uh, we actually did break out of this trend, and that's when we were streaming. And then on earnings, we failed and then pulled back into it. And this was December 13th when I had this, this screenshot here. I had this trend line here before that, but this was December 13th. Uh, present day, February 2nd, 2024 now, where we were was roughly r right here on this candle, right here, this red candle. And then since then, we've just been rejecting this resistance all the way down. And essentially, we're sitting right on it with nowhere to go now. Um, a decision a decision is going to be made next week on AMC. We're either going to break this trend or we're going to reject it. And it's going to be a very steep decline on AMC stock next week. Um, I don't think we're going down. So with that being said, we will be breaking this trend to the upside next week. <laughs> and that's it. We're going to break the trend to the upside next week. And we're going to see upside on AMC. That's as much as I'm going to say. Um, <clears throat> and here it is on a more micro level. Um, so this is the trend that we've been fighting since August 31st. So August 31st, this trend rejected here, 
broke out, retested on earnings. This was the dip that we were looking for on earnings, actually. Bounced off, started climbing back up, and then the the uh, the retest failed, broke back into it, and then all the way throughout this, just rejecting lower highs and lower lows every time we met it. Um, we do have this descending support now, uh, meeting resistance Tuesday. So, essentially a descending wedge here. Um, and this resistance we've been fighting for I don't even know how many months. Five, six months now. And we are at the, the point now where we're so pinched down in it, we're either going to break out of it, and more than likely this will be our macro break in the squeeze, or we're going to reject it and go to zero. Again, I don't think we're going to zero. Um, that's essentially everything I had for the video. I really don't have much else to say. The market is very, very, uh, very, very bullish. Um, congrats to everyone in the Discord that played Spy today. We absolutely fucking nailed that play. Um, essentially bought the bottom, sold the top. That's how today went. So really can't complain. Uh, buying the bottom on this dip here, selling the top, and today. I think the, um, the average return for anyone who played this today was like 300%. Something stupid like that. Um, it looks great, you know, and this is going to continue to climb to the upside. So a lot of money to be made all over the market. Spy, um, it's not done. We're at all time highs, closed all time highs today. I think everything, all the indices closed at new all time highs today. Dow Jones did closed at new all time highs today. NASDAQ closed at new all time highs today. Spy closed at new all time highs today. Russell 1000 closed at new all-time highs today, and then Russell 2000 uh, is about to break its macro. And my theory here is that Russell 2000, IWM, is keeping the memes pinned. Uh, when we do see the macro breakout here, we will see macro breakout on AMC and GameStop as well. And I went as far back to show you the correlation and the dates, 2021, the gap up right here, signaled the bottom in 2021. Um, this gap up here was the, the all-time low landmark on AMC in 2021, and then from there was the squeeze, and we're looking for the same thing, a break of macro resistance, which is at the same level, 199.11, 199.11, same movement, same movement, 2021, 2024, looking for a macro breakout here, um, and when we see that, macro breakout on GameStop, macro breakout on AMC, macro breakout on SoFi, macro breakout on BKKT, macro breakout on BYON. All the small caps that aren't already moving, uh, including the memes, are going to break out simultaneously with IWM. So that's really it. Everything is bullish. Reverse market crash, melt up, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We are in a complete bull market. Um, and that's it. I have nothing else to say. Next week looks fucking amazing. That's it. So that, that being said, I will catch you guys next week, more than likely with some lives. Because I'm expecting stupidity next week. Uh, so that's it. Peace.